Welcome to The Daily Calm. I'm Tamara Levitt, and today we'll be talking about acceptance. Let's start by taking a position that's comfortable, keeping your back straight without it feeling stiff or tense. Close your eyes and tune inward. Relax the forehead. Soften your jaw. Allow your entire body to feel heavy and weighted. And just observe how you feel in this moment, allowing for whatever's here with full acceptance. And now allow the simplicity of the breath to come into awareness. Focus on the rising and falling sensation of each breath. Not feeling the need to control the breath, just allowing the body to breathe naturally. not making efforts to make anything happen or to achieve any special state. Give full care and attention to your breathing. Observe each rise and each fall. Rise and fall. And just notice what's happening in the mind. This moment is nothing other than your life. This is what's happening right now. It's actually quite profound. So if you find yourself resisting something that's going on, or wanting to feel a certain way, to feel peaceful or quiet, Remember, that's not the point of practice. If we're trying to make something happen, we're not accepting what's in this moment. And when we reject our present moment experience, we're creating a new sort of suffering. Open to each new moment without expectation. So that there's a continual letting go of the past as each new moment emerges. Welcome each moment, whatever it looks like. Welcome it if it's messy, or confusing, or busy, or uncomfortable. Accept each moment as it is. Accepting this in-breath, and accepting this out-breath.
And now, gently relax your attention. Today, I'd like to talk about the difficulty of acceptance. And to explore this theme, I'll share a question I was recently asked, which is, there's one mindfulness principle I really struggle with. I know we're supposed to live in the present, but what if the present is horrible? What do you do then? So this is a very important question, and I want to offer my empathy and support to anyone who's enduring difficulty or suffering of any kind. It's a monumental challenge to stay present when what's in our experience is painful. And there's never a reason to accept the present if there's something we can do to change it. But the fact is, sometimes change isn't possible. Often, whatever is taking place is happening whether we like it or not. So we have three choices as to how to respond. We can either choose to accept a situation, we can change it, or we can leave. Sometimes we can find opportunities to change a situation. When destitute, we can seek help. When in pain, we can seek a remedy. We always want to make skillful decisions to improve our circumstances or to make the wise decision to leave our situation when appropriate. But sometimes there's simply nothing we can do about our circumstances. And when we can't leave and the situation won't change, all we can do is accept. Because if we don't accept, we're resisting. And that resistance simply amplifies our suffering. If we're experiencing pain or bearing a hardship, the kindest, most compassionate thing we can do for ourselves is to get present and to gently move into acceptance. And this doesn't mean that we should sit down and surrender. It means facing our circumstances with honesty and compassion. It means saying, okay, this is what's happening right now. And rather than adding to my suffering by resisting what is, I'll embrace the present, understanding that all things will eventually change. As Wayne Dyer poetically stated, enlightenment is the quiet acceptance of what is. Now, feel your feet where they touch the ground. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed today's Daily Calm. Bring this quality of acceptance into the day. And I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow.